My name's Angelo, and welcome to We Want Picks. Every week, we break down full UFC fight cards, giving you our picks, our bets, and our fantasy plays. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of our content. This video is brought to you by Bet You Play to Earn. It is the world's first online play to earn sports and esports betting game. Check it out now at betyouearn.com. That's bet, the letter U, earn.com. Next up, at UFC Vegas 48, we have my buddy Parker Porter fighting Alan Badeau. Parker Porter, 12 and 6 overall, 4 and 1 in his last five. He's coming off of two solid wins in a row, and the lone loss was a short notice loss to Chris Dawkins. Alan Badeau, 8 and 2 overall, 2 2 and 1 in his last five, coming off two KO losses in a row. I'm going to start this just like I did earlier with the quick picks. I'm going to start it by letting everybody know. I am personal friends with Parker Porter. I'm going to try to be objective here, but I'm literally friends with him in real life. So, you know, do what you want with that. I'm going to try to be objective in this breakdown. And Parker has had a solid run so far in the UFC. He debuted on short notice out of camp, and he was a few weeks into having a new baby. So he was a father for, he already had two kids, but it's his third kid on Three, you know, three weeks old, on the couch, took a short notice fight to go into the UFC. So those are the circumstances going into his fight with Chris Dawkins. And if you ignore the outcome, which was a stoppage in the first round, Parker did have some moments in some of those exchanges. And all it took was a full camp to show that. His next two fights, he set the significant strike record and then broke his own significant strike record in two solid strike first matchups but he's also worked in some takedowns and Parker Porter is a good well-rounded fighter he's got fantastic footwork solid power underrated wrestling and he is very tough and he has a willingness to engage in a firefight but he can wrestle, he can grapple, he can do all those things as well. Alan Badeau is an okay striker. He's never seen the judges' scorecards. He is teammates with Cyril Gon, so I have to imagine, imagine that he's been in camp for a little while now helping Cyril in that title fight last month. Uh, he'll come out, plant his feet, and just absolutely let his hands fly. He will throw anything from any angle, and that includes spinning attacks. He has legit power, and he will risk getting knocked out to chase his own knockout. His takedown defense is just okay, but once he get on the ground, he has a clear disadvantage against almost anybody that he's fighting. The odds makers have Parker at minus 250 here. I totally understand why. He's the more technical striker. He's got volume. He can wrestle. He can grapple. He's incredibly tough, and he does have cardio for three full rounds. We've seen that in his last two fights, but Allen is obviously live. He's got insane power. He's putting people out in the first round, eight people he's putting out, uh, and and he will be live, and he is willing to get hit, and we've seen Parker come forward, throw volume, and Allen may just stand there, take that, and just fire back. So I think Parker's the more technical striker, but I do think he should mix in the wrestling, work the takedowns, because it is such a ridiculous, clear advantage once it gets to the ground. So obviously, I'm going with Parker Porter for the pick. But the reality is that Alan Badeau is live in any fight he's ever been in. So I think Parker should wrestle. What do you think, Jacob DePaula, Belbita Rose Clark? I think that Parker should dominate this fight. The thing that worries me the most is I saw an interview where he said he's going to get his first UFC finish in this fight. I think that is going to be a problem if he's trying to chase finishes versus Allen because this guy, as you mentioned, will just drop his hands and go. If you want to, He's like tied to Ivas, right? He's like, if you want to bang, we can bang. And he's going to usually come out uh, on top of those. In the distance striking, he's pretty simple from, from the fights I watch. It's usually just a jab and then an overhand. And then a jab and an overhand. Sometimes he has that looping jab with a little power behind it, but mostly it's just jab overhand and then jab overhand. And I think Pork, uh, uh, Parker can easily dominate uh, that matchup um, if it's a distance fight. But if he starts getting aggressive, he starts getting in the pocket, he could find himself in some trouble. I agree. I would go to the wrestling. I don't think he needs to go to it uh, exclusively in this matchup. 
Um, but that probably is his easiest path. But I think if he just fights the way he's been fighting, there's nothing wrong with that, you know, Parker. He's just you, you win. You're winning, man. Just, yeah. just just win the fights. You don't need to chase finishes. Just keep on winning. Keep collecting those checks and keep moving up in the rankings. So that would be my advice for Parker. But uh, I think that this matchup is is somewhat tailor made um, for him to win. So I definitely see why the odds are, are minus two fifty. Yeah, he's just gotta be weary of that power because obviously it is very real power. Um, Eighty nine hundred dollars in DraftKings. You know, listen, he has scored well in DraftKings in the past because he has such insane volume. And he mixes in takedowns. So it could potentially, uh, you know, it could potentially be uh, uh, a high scoring matchup for Parker Porter. $8,900 is a lot of money to spend. Um, you know, so that's your choice. If you think he's going to mix in the wrestling and, and get a stoppage, great. Alan Badeau, I don't think he wins, but when he does win, it's by stoppage. So 73 could absolutely be worth it. But obviously, I'm not going to do that. Um, the Monkey Knife I Strike line is interesting because. <sighs> You know, Parker's is high because obviously we've seen his last two fights. It's insane. His volume is insane. What do you think of that? I think it's less. I don't know about Allen, but I think Parker's less. What do you think? I think if you think Parker Porter is going to win, it's a more and more. If you think he's going to lose, it's a less, less. That's how I would play it. I agree, but if he takes it down, he could absolutely submit it. I've rolled with Parker many times. He's a very he's very good at jujitsu, and then he's been you know he's been working his wrestling for a while now. So Parker's you know le legit capable grappler, and Allen is like a fish out of water on the ground. Like just did not look good anytime I've seen him on the ground. But y your logic is sound, and that's probably the way to go, um, because especially if you just look at his body of work, that's what you have there. So it may be a less more, frankly. If Parker mixes in some wrestling and Badeau is just going to swing wild and let his hands go. But anyway, I'll be rooting for my buddy. Uh, I'm, I'm going to bet on him. He's my friend. I don't care what the odds are. So that's going to happen. And if you want to bet on him or anybody else, go to wewantpicks.com slash bets. Sign up with any one of our five betting partners. Make a deposit. Let me know when you do. And I'll send you 50 bucks. Cash out, PayPal, Venmo, however you want it.